Do you want to make beautiful maps for your travels or for scrapbooking? Well, Python can help, and you can see a few examples going past here. So let's see how we can make these kind of maps. Now we're going to be using the Pretty Maps library made by Marcelo Pratish, and it's a really, really nice library of code that we can use to create these maps. But if you're not interested in coding, there's a solution for you too. If you go over to a website called Pretty Map, and it's using Streamlit, you can use this code in a much clearer interface, and you can basically just select the location you want to make a map of, the radius that you want it to be, the color theme and you can even get into quite a lot of detail about adding things like a title and the shape and where the title will be placed and the colors that are going to be used and you can end up in about a minute or so after it's finished rendering you get these beautiful maps like this so this is in Macau now one of the things you might want to be able to do is instead of just putting in the location like a location name you may want to put in a coordinate and if you want to get that coordinate here I'm just in Google Maps and we're going to have a little look at this fantastic castle in France called Carcassonne on. You just right click and this top one here where you can see sort of two numbers if I left click that that's copied now and I can paste it wherever I want it. So now we've had a brief look at those things let's crack on with the code. So here we are with our coding setup I've just got a folder called cartography and in that I've got a pretty maps python file. I want to say that all the links will be in the description that's for the library for that website and for my github if you want to just grab this file and make some small edits. So what are we doing in this file? Well in in order to start using this library, you have to first do a pip install pretty maps in the terminal. So you'll just copy and paste this bit here, pip install pretty maps, and run that in the terminal. And that will install the library. Now it does have some dependencies depending on what you want to use within it. That could be the OpenStreetMap library, Descartes library and Shapely, NumPy, or vSketch if you want to turn these into plotter images. Now, once we've got all of these, we can import pretty maps within our file. And I'm also going to use matplotlib as we're going to generate a plot from these. Quite simply to begin with, we can just create a plot like this using some presets. I've put the coordinates here for Carcassonne, that fun castle, and I've just said preset is equal to default. So let's see how that looks. We'll save the figure using a save fig within the matplotlib library, and we'll call it test.jpg, and we'll also show it. So let's run this file. And there we have our first map in the corner, but we can't see it very clearly, so let's blow it up a bit. And here we go, you can see the JPEG that we created, and you can see the castle walls running around here. It just looks really fun, it's a nice way of representing it, but we can play around a lot more with this. So let's see what other presets we can use. Now one of the other presets I want to play around with is called Minimal, and you'll see why it looks really nice in a minute. But we can also make this to be a circle, we can set that to be true, but then we also want to give it a radius, and we'll make that 500. So we're really gonna focus in, that's 500 meters will really focus in on the castle. So let's run this and see what we get. Oh, we'll save it as a separate file this time. And here we have that output again. It typically takes about two minutes to run. Now this is really small, so let's blow it up again. So here we are, you can see what that minimal does. It basically gives you an outline of all of the buildings. And it can be really nice for like a scrapbooking where you maybe would cut out this bit and then draw lines out to the things you visited, like where you had a coffee somewhere and a photograph of you in a coffee or whatnot. I just find this a really fun tool for keeping memories of places you've been to. And I thought you'd enjoy it too. So anyway, let's just dive in to a bit of the detail of what we can do with this library. So far, we've been using this preset here. Now I've just changed this to say test three so that when we save our next picture, it will be in a different file. And what we're going to do is replace this just with a big chunk of code that we'll walk through. Pretty much, instead of the preset, we now have this thing called layers. And within the layers, we can set all manner of parameters, such as the color of what, what color would we like the forest used to look like, what color would we like the water to be, and we can style all of these traits. This interfaces a lot with the OpenStreetMaps library. So if you've used any of that for processing your maps, a lot of this is, is related to that as well. And it just gives you a huge amount of power over controlling the color of each different feature within your map and which features you want to pick out. And in fact, this library, and if you want to go into detail on this, I recommend you have a look at the documents associated with this library, does a huge amount with maps. You can pull out things like building shapes and then plot the regular occurrence of certain building shapes and things like that. So you can really start to unpick a lot of geographic features. Anyway, let's run this and see what we get. 
And there we have a lovely map in the corner, but let's blow it up again. And there you can see our Carcassonne map with that lovely wall running round the grass up here. And then the roads connecting the modern town with really sort of clear like roundabouts and things and parking. And all these features are really nicely sort of brought out and they pop. So the only thing left for you to do now is find your location and build some maps. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give it a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.